everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm working up on the third floor trying to get these walls sealed. Now, unfortunately, yesterday and today are the first days in months and months where it's actually technically been too cold to do this. Uh, I don't know if you can see, my breath is a little visible in here. It's about 45 degrees. You can see my breath because of the relative humidity. Uh, and this uh, seal that I'm using wants to be about 55 degrees, so I'm kind of pushing it. I'm hoping that they uh, put in a little bit of breathing room on that one. Uh, but uh, I, I, there are other pressures that are kind of pushing me to get this room ready so we can start moving things into this room and clearing out another space and, you know, long story, you know, got to get this room done. So I'm trying it. Uh, th this is the first time I've ever used this before. This is a, uh, uh, a paint sprayer. Uh, it's a Graco True Coat 360. The 360 means you can point up and down in all sorts of different directions and it doesn't lose suction. This is the first time I'm using a, uh, a paint sprayer ever. I chose this one because it talked about, uh, well, the up and down 360 thing was nice because I knew I was going to be doing ceilings. Uh, but additionally, it said that there was very little uh, excess spray that went everywhere. And uh, I don't know what paint sprayers are normally like, but it still throws up an awful lot. I feel like it uses a lot more uh, of the seal than I would be using if I was just using a paint roller. Uh, I'm almost all the way through this uh, gallon jug, and I've done like barely half of this room. So it feels like that's more than I would normally use if I was using a paint and roller. One thing it does save enormously is time though. Uh, it's uh, really quick, I'm going to show you its use in just a moment here. Um, but uh, yeah, it saves a lot of time, but it's kind of slow. Uh, it saves a lot of time, but it's kind of, uh, you know, uh, wasteful when it comes to paint. Uh, one other tool that I've been finding is useful, uh, maybe just because I'm new to the sprayer, is as I'm uh, putting it on, sometimes you get some uh, spots that are a little excessively uh, wet. I put too much on there. So if you ever do this, it's good to have a paintbrush on hand, ready to go, so you can kind of take those spots and kind of, you know, smooth them out. So I learned that, and I've got this paintbrush just kind of sitting here, as well as every time you pour more paint in, you know, you can get the paint up around the edge of the can and it's not dripping everywhere. So it, that's a good tool to have in concert with everything else. Uh, while I'm going, because of all that overspray, uh, I feel like I should be wearing safety goggles, almost, because when I'm looking up, it's kind of in my eyes, and I like, try not to look up at what I'm doing. Uh, but I am going to uh, take the highly politicized act of protecting my lungs by putting on a respirator. I know some people are totally not into these, but, uh, you know, I don't know. I just want to keep junk out of my lungs. So uh, I found this is really helpful. This is a uh, respirator that has these bayonet mounts. You can put different cartridges on here. These are P100 as opposed to N100 or N95. The P means that it's filtering out volatile organic uh, compounds and things, chemicals. It filters out chemicals, it's got charcoal in there. And it's working pretty well. So let me show you the use of this thing. Uh, when I first started doing it, I was moving too quickly because I'm used to spray paint. It's kind of like, tss, 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 tss. you know, you want to keep your hand moving really fast with spray paint. This thing gives out pulses. So if you move really fast, you get like splat, 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 and you see these little marks down the wall. So I have to slow myself down a little bit. And you'll see the speed that I, uh, that I found seems to work. My toes are a little cold, so I've got gloves on them. I didn't have extra shoes. All right, I think I, uh, where did I finish up? That's the hard thing. I forget where I put it up. I think I just finished up there and I'm ready to do this section. All right, here we go. Funny, I, I automatically, <clears throat> I automatically want to hold my breath when I'm doing it because I feel the paint coming down on me, and I'm used to not really doing a respirator all the time, so it comes down to me and I start not breathing because I'm used to wanting to hold my breath when I do it. So uh, I just got that section, as you can see, it's really fast, but it does uh, it does piss through a lot of uh, the sealer. But uh, hopefully I'll be able to get this room done, end of the day, let it dry, and then we can start moving stuff in here. So that's it. Thanks for watching.